This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So Krishan's ex Boo K Suave dropped his song yesterday called Shameless. And Krishan fans are feeling like he was talking about Krishan in his song. I listened to the song about 10 times. And honestly, guys, I really can't make out what he's saying. And I'm going to drop the link in my description and you all can go listen to it for yourselves. So the lyrics that folks are upset about, apparently he said something about not being able to control who tats him on their body. He talked about her trying to force him to sleep with her. He also said she needed help and didn't respect herself. And this really angered the Krishan Rock community. So K Suave went on Instagram Live and he really didn't say anything. He basically just listened to his music like he usually does. And there were some people saying stuff in the comments. So I'm going to have to mute the music. If you guys want to read some of these comments, go ahead. So now I do believe that he was talking about Krishan, possibly because he is an artist and this is how they express themselves. But what I do find that is very weird, very strange, is that he is saying that he wasn't talking about Krishan. And what is even weirder is that he he posted a bunch of stories and then he quickly deleted them. So in this deleted story, he said, y'all funny as F for saying I'm sneak dissing. So like I said in the song, I cannot control all these H's that's tattooing me on the body. He showed a lady with his name on her face, Slayer. Then he posted this other picture. But in my humble opinion, none of these ladies have the name Kevin on their body. Like Krishan, she was posting Kevin. She wasn't posting Slayer. She was posting Kevin, which is very different. So I guess he's saying that it's not only Krishan that has his name tattooed to the body. And in another post, he said, I be too H to be in drama, LOL. I mind my business and play WWE. He said, stop reaching. He asked them to please stop reaching, XOXO. And under the Blue Girls Club post, someone asked if the song was about Krishan. And K.A. Suave was under that post responding. He said, no, shaking my head. We're still cool, lol. I'm just making the music I've been making for the past five years. And Krishan did speak on K Suave several weeks ago, maybe months ago. And she basically said why they were no longer together. Gave us a little kind of hint as to why they were no longer together. Like, y'all knew the get back was crazy. Y'all knew what other people was alternative. Y'all knew. Well, other people was alternative, so. Now, this video where she said that she didn't like him that much, I do not believe that. You don't be tattooing somebody's name to your body that you don't like. She liked him. She liked him. I do believe that she liked him. So, I don't believe what she's saying, what she said here at all. And y'all made the shit. I tried to, like, move on and for other people and shit. I did. I don't really like him that much. I don't really like him that much. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that K Suave was talking about Krishan in this song? And I'm definitely confused. If this song is not about Krishan, I don't understand why he's doing all these posts and deletes. Just stand in what you're saying. But I don't think Krishan is worried about any of this. She is focused on her new projects. She said she had some new projects. And the Neighborhood Talk had posted this. Um, they had posted that Ray J had gotten $75 million for his exit from Raycon Global. And he had planned to use his shares to launch 
his new network. And Stunner Girl has also talked about partnering with Ray J. But what was interesting in this post was that it had said that his new television platform will offer over 80 plus hours of TV programming featuring renowned figures from shows on linear television and OTT platforms. And here we see Blueface and Christian Rock. So we definitely can see here that uh, they're on to some bigger and better things. So yeah, I don't think Krishan is worried too much about this song. What are your thoughts? And thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I am now on Snapchat. So if you're on Snapchat, definitely add me. I love you guys. Bye.